It's been so long since we saw the updated Maggie. In fact, it's been a minute since we've seen Sebastian as well. I would love to see what they're up to, wouldn't you? Hey, 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 what's up, party people? I hope everyone is staying healthy and happy. I'm pretty tired today, not gonna lie. The worst feeling when you know you've had like a good sleep, but you feel so exhausted the next day either way. Anywho, let's talk about what you're really here for, the Wednesday dev chat. This time around, the Q&A is from March 19th. If you like this sort of thing, please don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe for future Paralives and Sims content. You peeps are the best and I love all of the support y'all give me. Thank you so very much. Did you miss a dev chat? Don't worry, I got you. Click the pop-up at the top right corner for a Paralives dev chat playlist or find the link in the description box. If you're looking for a new spot to discuss and speculate on Paralives, you should check out the Facebook group Paralives Community. Besides the official Discord server, it is one of my favorite Paralives places to visit, and they're quickly growing to become one of the largest Paralives communities on Facebook. Check it out. You might even see me in there from time to time. You never know. Dev chats are all about the community coming together to brainstorm for Paralives. It's about engaging in a conversation about ideas, wishes, or wants, or fears for the game. This is not about confirming anything. The game is still in early development. This means that elements can change, be improved, or be removed altogether. If you're interested in joining in on one of the dev chats, you'll need to check out the Paralives Patreon page. You can also find tons of fantastic information on their social media accounts. Don't worry, I'll have everything linked in the description box. So go check that out. Now let's get to it, shall we? Just before this dev chat, the team had actually released the video about the picture frames. I don't know about you, but that video got me hyped up. I think after that video, we were all curious about how custom images would work with sharing lots with other players. Do they carry over? Do they become blank frames? What really happens? Well, the team doesn't know exactly how it will work, but it should work with the Steam Workshop the same way mods do. That means they expect the custom images to be A-OK -okay when you share a lot that includes them. That's awesome news! Body deformation sounds like a bad thing. Just straight up, it sounds like something is wrong. However, it's not. Not in this case anyways. The way it works is that they deform the 3D model Charlie to be able to create other parafolk. This means they duplicate Charlie and will change something about them. That say they add breasts. And then they use a program to calculate the difference between the two versions of Charlie. This is how the breast slider would be created. Very cool. I like this explanation a ton. It's very simple and straightforward to understand. And it makes it sound less of a bad thing, like something is wrong, and more of a process. <laughs> There's still a bit to be done with the adult model before the team can move on to another life stage. Their laundry list includes improving the deformation system and creating various skin textures for each body type. It sounds like working with deformations can be tricky, especially when you're working with various skin textures and in particular spots of the body. Then again, what do I know? I'm just a player and not a game developer, so... Take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt, okay? But read what I've posted on the screen. It'll help more. Pets can change while they're growing up. I know this. My dog Merlin was born pretty much with all black fur, and now she only has black fur on her back. Although in Sims 4 they have tons of dog breeds to choose from, I feel like each breed sort of lacks details. For Merlin, she's an Arendelle Terrier by the way, this means that the puppy version in The Sims 4 looks like a mini adult one. That's just not how Arendelle Terrier puppies look like. In Paralives, I do hope that they incorporate some changes in the fur color as the pet ages. As of right now, it's too early to tell if that detail will be included though. But my fingers are crossed on this one. I really hope I can recreate a tiny little puppy version of Merlin, cause that would be too cute. I want each para to feel like their own individual, which means with different likes or dislikes, wants and fears, aspirations, and so on and so forth. I think the developers would agree with me on that. Although nothing has been talked about regarding likes and dislikes, I think that there's going to be something included in that way. 
Will our parafolk run into a dev in game? Maybe. Will there be Easter eggs for us to find? Probably. We're gonna have to wait to find out. Do you want to play through each time period with your para family? That means you'll need clothing from various time periods, doesn't it? Well, don't fear. Clothes and hairstyles will be constantly updated with new and additional pieces of clothing and hairstyles. It's been a while since we've seen our girl Maggie. What do you think she's up to? Either way, in the future we're going to hear more about her job as a scientist and about her family. I personally want to see her cat Yuri. If you could ask the team one question, what would it be? Let me know in the comment section, okay? If you want to see more of me, don't forget to follow my Catchy Virus Instagram account for some memes, as well as like my Catchy Virus Facebook page. Don't forget to connect with other Paralyzed fans by joining the Facebook group Paralyzed Community. Lastly, if you want to see pictures of Merlin, food I'm eating or making, and pictures of my face, follow my own personal Instagram account. I want to thank every single one of you for watching this video. I hope you continue to succeed and feel happy. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!